Hey, welcome to Rapid Fire Reaper Tutorials. All the info, none of the fluff, so let's get to it. Something that I've been noticing people on Reaper forums struggle with a lot is project organization. Now, both the Reaper blog and Reaper Mania have great tutorials tackling this very issue, both of which I will link up here. There's another problem though. As most folks mix, they begin to develop this weird paranoia that they may do something irreversible or screw something up beyond repair. This is almost never true, but I totally get the instinct. As you're entering the 11th hour of your mix to use the save as function a lot as a way of establishing checkpoints for yourself so you can always go back before things were so screwed up. So in the heat of the moment, you quickly type save as and type something. Low down the road, you want to do some weird experiment with your sends or whatever. So once again, you hit save as and type something in quickly. The next day, you go to your project folder and it looks like this. Just a mess of projects and it's not really clear what's what. More importantly, if you do actually screw your mix up beyond repair, going back to these saved versions is a pain. You gotta quit the project, reload a new one, and then you realize, ah, oh, your sends were created later or your level have changed a bunch. Frustrated, you just say fuck it and go back to your latest version, which means more loading screens. There's got to be a better way. The better way is, as always, the SWS extension, which like, if you don't have it, I don't know what you're waiting for. It's free, takes 10 minutes to install and saves me hours of work on a daily basis. Like don't even, don't even finish watching this. Just go get SWS. It's like Reaper on steroids. In SWS, we have snapshots. Snapshots allow you to save and instantly recall older versions of your mix and keeps all your different versions within the same project. No clutter, no fuss, no muss. I'm starting to sound like Billy Mays here. But wait, there's more. When you recall a snapshot, you don't have to save everything. You get free reign over what to save and recall at all times, and you can recall them in an instant, even mid-playback. So what I do when I start a mix, I take a snapshot. This snapshot is my starting point. I can always come back to this. After that, I set my levels and take another snapshot, put some plugins in, do some general tweakage, take another snapshot. Don't like it? Go back, delete the snapshot. No biggie. I can also save portions of my mix, like just save all my synth tracks, do something weird to them. Then I can A-B them against the rest of the mix very quickly. You also get to choose what to save. You can keep your levels, but change your plugins. The world is your oyster and it's all done in one window. So get familiar with snapshots and enjoy breezy mix sessions where you're not afraid of experimenting or losing progress. So that's it for today and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.